What's gone wrong with the world? Watch the news and you'll get worried, confused and depressed. Things seem to be getting worse all the time. Climate change, terrorism, disease, economic chaos, migration. How can you make sense of it all? And is there anything you can do to make things better? Yes, there is. But first, what is going on? You see, all our problems are getting worse because of globalization. Technology like the internet and aeroplanes connects everyone and everything. So all the good stuff spreads, but so does the bad stuff. One person with a cold can cause a pandemic. One geek with a laptop can shut down the power grid. One bad bank can bring the global financial system to its knees. These problems are too big and too connected for any one country to fix them. Country A can't fix climate change. Country B can't fix migration. Country C can't fix the economic crisis. We need to work together if we're going to make the world work. Most of the time, though, we don't. Why? Well, because the seven billion people who caused all these problems are organized in 200 tribes called nations, each run by a government that's totally focused on the national interest. What will make us richer? Happier, safer, stronger. They don't worry too much if that makes others poorer, unhappier, weaker, because, well, they're foreigners. Foreigners can't vote. This can change. It will change when we, the people who keep those governments in power, wake them up and tell them the world has changed and their jobs have changed with it. The foreigners aren't aliens. They're humans just like us, and we care about them. The countries aren't islands, unconnected to the rest of the world. They're all part of one system. If it fails, we all fail. There won't be winners and losers, only losers. That's why the good country exists, to change how our leaders run our countries. To tell them that today, they're not just responsible for their own citizens, but for every man, woman, child and animal on the planet. To tell them they're not just in charge of their own little slice of territory, but for the whole of the Earth's surface and the atmosphere above it. So come to Good Dot Country and find out how to make your country gooder for a better world.